I was in home base about two and a half weeks ago. I've never had a problem in home base before. Uh, I wanted a carbon monoxide detector. I live on a boat now. I live on a boat. And um, there was a sign by the carbon monoxide detectors. It said, all carbon monoxide detectors, 20% off. Okay? So I go to the checkout with my carbon monoxide detector. They don't give me my 20% off. And I asked about it. I said, there's a sign there, it says 20% off. And the girl, whose badge said her name was Lisa, said, oh no, no, that's, that's finished now, that's over, there, there shouldn't be a sign up, there's, there's a sign up. And then another member of staff, who I hadn't noticed, was standing behind me, um, her name was Debbie, says to Lisa, oh, I'll go and have a look, I'll go and check, if the sign's still up. And she fucks off for about 10 minutes, and comes back 10 minutes later, and says, says to me, no, no, there's no sign, I can't see, can you, can you come with me, can you show me where the sign is? And naively, I, I poodled along with her, expecting to see the sign exactly where it had been 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Guess what Debbie had done? Taken a fucking sign down. Right. And, and, and she says to me, uh, well, where's the sign then? I said, uh, well, shall we check your pocket, Debbie? That's what I said. <laughs> and she says to me, she goes, no, I didn't take it down. I swear on my little boy's life, I didn't take it down. That's what she said. I said, just get me the uh, name and address of uh, customer service. I am going to be making a complaint. This is outrageous. And it wasn't even the 20% off. I didn't care about the 20% off. It was that they were taking me for a mug. Do you know what I mean? That was the thing. That was what was pissing me off. She wouldn't even give me the address of customer services. So I went back to my boat. I found it on, um, on, on the internet. And I emailed them that day. Eight days later, I'd heard nothing back. Nothing. Do you think that's outrageous? Nothing, not a thing. So I thought, right, I'm not letting this go. I found the name and address of the CEO of Homebase. His name is Terry Duddy, and I've written him a letter. And I'm, I'm, this was about 10 days ago. I'm just, I'm not gonna, the, the whole letter basically is me just explaining what I've explained to you. But right at the end of the letter, I added this. I thought this was, this was um, quite nice stuff. This was the end of my letter to the CEO. I wrote, uh, I'm not looking to be compensated, and I'm not looking for a pound of flesh either. Uh, I am one of the lucky ones in that I do not work at Homebase. Uh, the slightest twist of fate, less effort at school, a weak gene pool, <laughs> or early addiction to marijuana, and it might have been me. Um, I would, however, appreciate a thorough response, and most importantly, an assurance that the health of Debbie's little boy has not taken a turn <laughs> Irony can be a bitch. Please urge her to check her home for carbon monoxide leaks. <laughs> so that was basically what I talked about at the beginning of last week's show. Uh, this morning, I got a letter back from Terry Duddy. Thank you very much. I'll just read you a bit of it. Uh, here you go. Dear Mr. Sanders, I have initiated a full investigation into your complaint, which I want to assure you we are taking very seriously. Your experience is in no way reflective of the home base ethos. I swear on my little boy's life, isn't it? I, I made up that last sentence, but essentially what I'm going to do, I haven't, uh, I've, I've, I'm filming this um, over there because what I now plan to do is put the footage of me telling you this story on YouTube, send it to Derry, Terry Duddy. Yeah. Terry Duddy, you fuck with the wrong person. Right. There you go, thank you.